We were supposed to go to Hawaii about a month ago, but stupid COVID got in the way. So instead of going to Hawaii, we're gonna eat the food we were gonna have while we were there. No, that's not right. But instead of- We're bringing Hawaii to us. Uh... But instead, we'll bring Hawaii to us and make a classic Hawaiian, uh, what the f is this called? Hawaiian uh, flanken style rib? Flanken style? That's what it's called, flanken, the way it's cut. Flanken? Flanken. But instead we'll bring Hawaii to us by making- uh... But instead we'll bring Hawaii to us and make, by making these classic Hawaiian style ribs with macaroni salad. It's kind of a plate lunch thing, you know? If you've been to Hawaii, plate lunch is a thing. There's the protein, then there's often rice and or macaroni along with it. Protein, starch, starch. We're gonna leave one of the starches off today and we'll make these delicious, simple ribs. You're gonna love them. Flanken style. Max just learned what Flanken style was. I'll show you those in a bit. And a very simple, old school, classic Hawaiian elbow macaroni salad. So if you watched any of our uh, earlier stuff, you see that we went to Kauai and shopped and cooked and had lots of fun there. It's a series of three videos, they're great. We did three videos. We'll start with the marinade, because the ribs got to marinate. We make a marinade so they can marinate. You get it? Don't interchange those. You're not making a marinade, you're making a marinade. You wanna make it easy for you, change how you say it. Call it a marinade. Then you will never mix it up with marinades. Let's go. Recipe below, don't write down a thing. We start with soy sauce. Uh, one. Two, three, like four. Quarter cup of soy sauce. We're gonna add garlic in my, like that? In my, uh, what's this called? Xylus. Xylus, thank you. We'll put four big cloves in. If you don't like lots of garlic, then uh, put less. But, okay, no, I take that back. Don't put less, because it'll suck. Just do what I do. My father used to say that. Uh, do as I do, not, uh, what is it? Oh no, my do father. Say not yeah, as yeah, I yeah, do. yeah. My it. father still says that. <laughs> I guess we're going in fours because next up is four tablespoons of brown sugar, AKA one quarter cup. Next we have some rice vinegar, exactly that amount, whatever that was. I think it was a couple of tablespoons. Isn't that fortuitous? Isn't that fortuitous? About a tablespoon of fresh ginger. Don't even think about the dried stuff. And then a uh, teaspoon or two of sesame chili oil. And if you don't have sesame chili oil, you could use regular sesame oil. And to that, ladies and gentlemen, we say, and we mix. Ah, oh, amazing. Right, let's look at our ribs. There you go. Flanken style beef ribs. So normally, these bones are long, right? Long, like this. If I had them like this, you get that, how the bone goes all the way through and you get long bones this way. Well, they cut them short so they're thin this way. These are actually kind of nice ones. These are about an inch thick, three quarters of an inch thick. So that's great, happy. Real happy to have these, okay? So now we take a Ziploc bag, we open it up. We put about half the sauce in, so it's at the bottom, and then our ribs. We want the ribs to all be nicely coated in here. Just try and make it happen. We're putting the rest in. I find sometimes if you don't put some at the bottom, it's hard to get it all down there. And no, Max, that's not what she said. That wouldn't make sense if she said it, so don't even think about it. Now the rest, and I need a spoon. Sorry, I'm doing this backwards to the camera, but hands are a mess, that's all I can do. Now we'll seal up, get out as much air as we can. Finish the ceiling. And now we work at getting them all coated beautifully with sauce all the way. So let some drip down like this, this way. Come on, buddy. And when everybody's covered well and you're happy and they go to your fridge, Chance, how long? Uh, at least half an hour. A couple hours would be better and overnight would be best. Say goodbye and let's make some macaroni salad. Goodbye. This uh, would be cooked macaroni. You can tell because I can squeeze it and when I eat it, it doesn't crunch. Now we need to add the things that are gonna make this delicious. And remember, it's pretty basic. We'll start with some mayonnaise. And look, this is a very personal thing. The real question is, do you like your macaroni salad wet or not wet? That's what she said. Well, that's not what she said. I don't think she asked that question. So I'd like to uh, add a little bit. That's probably a quarter cup. We'll add everything else, mix it, and we'll add more if we need to. I'm gonna start with some shredded carrot. Next will be some diced celery, fairly small. Now, onion is traditional in this and a shredded onion. So you use a shredder, you shred it, squeeze out the water and then you add it in. But I can't just have white onion in it because you know what I think about green onions. So we're gonna add some of that too. And that's for me a great start. And now we'll mix this. I'm pretty certain we'll be adding a little bit more mayo. 
And I'm not going fancy here. Not that Japanese mayonnaise is fancy, but I'm going old school, Western mayo. Nice, nice color, nice consistency maybe. Some salt and pepper is in order. Of course, we mix and we taste. Needs a lot more salt and pepper, not to make it salty, it's to bring out the flavors. And I think a little more mayo and we'll mix this. Boom, that's it. Max made, ribs are marinating. I say it's time we throw on the grill. Come on boys, let's do this. And on we go. Lovely. Oh, the smell hits you right away. And what I like, they're relatively thin, so this is only, you know, maybe three, four minutes aside. Four on the first, three on the second. Three on the first, three on the second. I'll stop there, Max. And remember, because it's beef, you don't need to overcook this. Keep it nice, keep it delicious, but give it this beautiful char that will make them even better. Scope and see what we're looking like underneath. That is gorgeous. It's everything you want it to be. Maybe more. Could be more than I want it to be, but probably not. So it's been, I don't know, two minutes or so. Let's give them a, a 45, shall we? Like this. That's fantastic. And hot and smoky in my face. By the way, if it's complete shit weather where you live, you get pretty close by doing this on a grill pan inside. Or you could just suck it up, go outside, put on a jacket with an umbrella over you and uh, do your thing there which is probably preferable. That leads me in perfectly to me up in Canada, cooking in the snow. Check out what a badass my freaking father-in-law is. All right, so I'm gonna flip them, but I got a little bit of the sauce left in the bag. So with my arm way up high, cause I don't want to burn that F out of myself. I'll try and ease up a little bit. Ah, oh, God, hot, 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 burning, terrible feeling, awful. Ah, ah, ah. All right, now we'll flip them. Gorgeous. Everything I wanted. And more. All right, couple minutes on this side and we yank them. And we're ready, so let's pull them. Yikes. Those are gonna be amazing. So, we go like this. We take one of our friends, we put them right there. They get two things. Of course, just a little smidge of green, a little sesame seed. And then the macaroni salad served the traditional Hawaiian plate lunch way, like that, with a little green on top. How pretty is that? How fun is this? It's Hawaii in uh, January. Bite me, COVID, they kept us away. We're still gonna enjoy it. Fuck you, COVID. Fuck you, COVID. And now the easy way to do this, well, you just pick the whole guy up with your hand if you wanted to, or a little easier, it's cut, cut, pew, oh, see? That's perfect for me, I love this. And do I love the fat? Mm, yeah, I do love the fat, thank you very much. So let's get a bite of that. There will be those that say it's too rare. And to them I say, you're too rare. The charring, love you, love you charring. Let's do this. Mm. Soy and brown sugar are a magical combination. I'm not kidding. The soy, uh, it, when it, when the, when it, look of course this, this, huh. <laughs> I feel like I've been drinking for a week. I don't, uh, I can't, like I can't put, I can't put my words together. What I'm trying to say is yes, the brown sugar makes it sweet, but the two of them together, when they hit that flame, the flame is what makes it really magical. My God, I love that. And that little tiny bit of spice from the chili sesame oil, it's just such a tiny little undernote. Don't worry. It's going to be too hot. Stay there. Wait, wait. And now of course our macaroni. I hate to break the little shape but I will. Mm. Uh, don't, don't fall. Quickly, 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 Max. It's falling up to my mug. Get the camera on me, bud. I don't want to lose any more. You know, make all the fancy uh, macaroni salad you want. There is something to be said for a pure, honest, simple version. A little bit of crunch, a little bit of creaminess, all freaking delicious. All freaking delicious. Well, the only way to end this would be, if you got nothing to do, you could go to thecookingguy.com and buy one of my cookbooks that are right there. Uh, the newest one on the bottom. Recipes with intentional leftovers. And we finally have the winners of the uh, Easter egg uh, contest. We've planted a small Easter egg in this uh, video. So I started off the episode by wearing the If Fat Means Flavor That I'm Fucking Delicious shirt in English. And then for like one minute section, I switched to the Spanish version and then switch back to English. 
The first five of you that caught it are gonna win the t-shirt, your choice, English or Spanish. You'll let us know when you reply to us at infothecookingguy.com. And those five people are The Ballistic Farmer, Lisa Pop, J. Patrick 1967, classic year to be born in, I'm uh, assuming. Sauna Worst, I like the name. I love that name. And last but not least, of the first five, Isaiah Hoggins. I like that name too. Congratulations, everybody. Infothecookingguy.com will figure out that you are who you say and think you are. And we'll get the shirts out to you. Right there, okay? First here? Here, 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 here.